Alright guys, today on the list is the Gigabyte GeForce. This is the 1050 Ti model. And it's got the 4 gig of DDR RAM and it's the overclock edition. Um, so, I'm going to be getting that in and getting it benchmarked on NiceHash and see how profitable it is as of 11... Today's 11-20-2017, November 20th, 2017. Alright, and now I just have the uh, 1050 Ti running. I don't have the other 1050 or that 560 running. And it's running NeoScript. I guess that's what it thinks is the most or profitable today. And no overclocks or anything. And it's running right at about 82 cents a day. That's been hovering back and forth a couple cents. But that's no memory turned up and no core clock turned up. But here, I'm going to open up all the benchmarks so you can see the speeds for everything. Okay, here's the benchmark for the 1050 Ti. And these are stock clocks, no overclocks. So I'm just going to keep on going down. Alright, and that's all of them, so I hope that helped y'all out, and um, I'm just going to include, I'm going to turn the core clocks up and see what I can get this card to. Alright, and I just turned up the core clock a little bit. The core clock is up plus 70, and the memory clock's up plus 500. Looks like this is where it likes to be, and it's a little happy, happy range, and that's getting me about 90 cents a day. And this is on Dagger Pascal. So, looks like um, almost a dollar a day card. Not bad for the money. Um, I ended up buying this on Amazon. It was like 140 Right at 140 bucks, like 150 by the time you pay tax and everything. So, not horrible. But, yeah. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.